thank you, Chairperson. Chairperson, South Africa continues to be plagued by unacceptable high levels and outrageous brutal forms of violence against its women. And the unfortunate reality is that where women are unprotected, children are equally at risk. To assist, we urgently need a dedicated SABC channel broadcasting details of miss missing um, women and children, the likes of the old police file. Our police must investigate cases of missing women and children, any person missing, as soon as the matter is reported, and there should not be a waiting period of 24 hours. We need to ask, why does South African society suffer from such extraordinary violent crimes, despite a world-renowned constitution underpinned by a comprehensive Bill of Rights and a legislative overhaul that safeguards women and children's rights and law? Why are women and children subjected to such brutality? According to the Institute of Race Relations, the answer lies in the breakdown of our families. According to the Institute, the antisocial, violent and destructive behaviour we see relates to weak family structures and that the fabric of our country will only ever be healed if we learn to build better and stronger bonds. The values of a family and what constitutes a functional family unit needs to be inculcated and promoted amongst our youth within our schooling system in the precursor to adulthood. The migratory labour system broke the back of our family structure as well. It resulted in the destruction of family and social relations, including changes to custom and beliefs and general ways of living. Thus, as society began to urbanise, the family dysfunctionality of absent fathers and female-headed households continued. An intervention is required to revive the family nucleus and the family as the nucleus of society. A similar intervention is required in the upbringing of our boys. They must be sensitised and taught to respect the rights of women. Data suggests that South Africa is a source, transit and destination country for women subjected to forced labour and sex trafficking. But this week, a group of thugs dressed in Mr Price MK gear chanted hands of Zuma, gathered in violent intimidation outside the residence of Solly Mapila, inside was Solly's three-year-old daughter and live-in nanny. At the same time, another group of thugs are camped outside the home of Patriot Makosi Koza's home, threatening her and her children's lives. We can't help but draw a parallel to that what Kwesi was treated, how gangs of thugs violently intimidated, abused, hounded, hurled abuse at Kwesi, how supporters of Mr. Zuma's push burned down her home and shouted, and I quote, burn the bitch, how she had to flee her motherhood, seek asylum. When women protesters were violently manhandled at the IEC Rock, a room full of people Order, did nothing. Member, Currently, Chairperson, there is 53 people in the ANC benches. When you strike a woman, you're a...